Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I already know what you're thinking. You're probably like, who's that girl with the straight hair? It's Casey with the straight hair as of lately. As of last week, I got a new straightening product and I've just been trying it out. I'll leave a link for it down below. It's a Dyson Air Straight. I did like a full first impressions on it. Today we're gonna be catching up. We're gonna be doing a favorites video, sharing with you my favorites. Also have some empties to share with you, which is always a good time. You guys enjoyed it last time I incorporated it. So we're just gonna hop right into it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get started. You already know this is a favorite. Mm. Quickly before we get into the video, I'm really excited because Thrive Market, one of my favorite places to get one of my favorite chips that I'm about to show you, they are sponsoring this portion of the video. The promo today for Thrive Market, you're going to get 30% off your first order and you're going to get a free gift that's worth up to $60, which I think is great. You cannot not find something on Thrive. Let me show you my order. Normally I get a lot of groceries from Thrive. I still got some groceries, but I got some other things that I feel like you guys would appreciate. So we're going to dive into my box. And this is a really big box. I can't like hold it on camera for you so we're just gonna pull it out and go. first one which is in my favorites for this month because when i tell you these things are the most addicting things ever it's honestly probably very dangerous i've already gotten into this bag but these are the popcorn twists the cinnamon sugar you guys i loved taco bell cinnamon twist but I don't go there. I don't go there anymore. This is all I need. It tastes so good. The thing about Thrive Market is they're going to have the best deals. And if you find somewhere that has a better deal than them, they will price match it. So keep that in mind whenever you're on there. These are 50% less fat, real non-GMO ingredients, upcycled heirloom corn flour. Y'all, this is cinnamon twist in the healthier version. The one thing that is so great about these is that they're packaged in individual servings. And but when I tell you I need that individual serving, I'm trying to watch what I eat, but still enjoy myself. You know what I mean? Perfect size, obsessed with it. Next up in my order, I got some collagen. I'm gonna be incorporating this into my smoothies every single day. I just wanna see if I notice a difference with collagen. You know what I mean? This one is just the Thrive Market grass-fed collagen peptides, pasture-raised, non-GMO, 100% pure, no added hormones. This had great reviews on their website. This one's for the kids, the Honest Conditioner and Shampoo. Plus body wash. I love these for the kids. I've used them over and over again. Speaking of supplements, I've been really bad about taking like a multivitamin every day. I know you're probably like, Casey, come on. I'm just on this new health journey where I'm really trying to focus on myself, like feel better. Just, I'm getting older, all right? This is the new chapter one daily, every woman's vitamin formulated for absorption. We're all supposed to be taking multivitamins, right? So this one, again, had great reviews. I was just reading reviews and I'll give this one a shot. <gasps> I forgot I got these. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got these and I feel like I have to do a taste test. I've tried this brand before. They're actual, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? They're caramel rounds. I don't know, this is a toffee bark. Wow, these are big. Holy cannoli. They're like all this big. I'm gonna crack that one just a little bit. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. Oh my God, that's so good. The thing about Thrive Market too is like they're an online membership based grocery store. So they have like organic supplements, organic food, all the things you could want organic wise and just healthy non-GMO products, supplements, all that. They have it. But they also have like non-toxic beauty products, favorite brands for me like Kitsch. I'm just really hoping I don't have chocolate in my teeth right now. Grab some things from Kitsch because I really needed a couple things. So I wanted to get this one again because I've been using Heatless Curls, but I couldn't find my smaller one. So I saw this on Thrive and I grabbed it. So this is the Kitsch Satin Heatless Curling Set. I've used it before. Love it. Just needed another one because I've lost mine. So. so I'm not doing Heatless Curls. I do like to have my hair in a low pony. And I figured this satin scrunchie one would be really nice because it's not going to be hard and like pull the hair or anything. So this one comes with five. That's a lot of scrunchies. Yeah, these are gonna be perfect because they're not too tight. So they're not gonna pull your hair You have the satin fabric. That's gonna be really nice and not like make your hair all knotted This is a really long portion of the ad, but I feel like you really need to know about this These are the salt wear comfort leak proof, leak proof underwear. I've tried these before I've tried numerous different leak proof underwears. We can get into this whole conversation another time because I Don't like tampons. <laughs> I don't they hurt. I do wear them. Don't get me wrong, but like for overnight sleeping, no, I cannot do it. But these are incredible. I don't know how the heck these kind of underwear work, but they work. And they had these on there, so I grabbed them. On your cycle, you need something for overnight, and you don't like want a pad. I know it's like a taboo topic. You either love it or hate it, but 
those are incredible and I did not know they had these on Thrive so when I saw it I grabbed one and again they will price match if you see it cheaper somewhere else so they have a little bit of everything things for your kids they have wine they have frozen items meat all kinds of things so I'll leave the link down below again you get 30% off of your first order and then of course a free gift that is worth up to 60 bucks but not only that very important to note that they're having their friends and family sell right now so it's 25% off and like this collagen for instance I just saw so this is normally 45 59 and right now it's 24 46 so fun fact about me I have this huge fear of swallowing pills especially like when I'm home alone choking and nobody's here to save me it's really toxic but it's been a problem since I was a kid so I'm just not good at taking pills I mean they'll get down the hatch it just takes me a minute. All right, let's get into my favorites for the last month, two months that I have been off of here. All right, so first off, this is a favorite, but it's also like a, you know, it makes me a little ticked off product. So this is the Amica, the Wizard Silicone Free Detangling Primer. It is amazing. It does what it says. It detangles your hair. It makes your hair feel really soft. The only con I had with this is the packaging. I didn't realize it because until somebody told me to go read reviews but like this leaked one day on me in my bathroom it was just down on the floor like this and I didn't even realize I guess it was loose it leaked out half the bottle so like half of it is gone I purchased another one during the Sephora sale so I mean I clearly like it that's the only flaw that I have for this product I would be nervous to travel with it with how easily it leaked like I don't even know when it happened it just I don't know I didn't untwist it or anything only thing is that it can leak and when it does it's gone but I do really like it and I think it's worth the money and it's great for if you have tangly hair you have fine hair and I also think that this helps with like smoothing out your hair as well it just really kind of seals it in. it makes it look really nice oh my gosh we gotta talk about this perfume I have been on a perfume kick this year, end of last year, and I've just been on a perfume kick. You guys, this, this perfume, this perfume is different from anything else that I have, but it smells incredible. I, if I could describe this to you, this is my first thought when I sprayed it at the Nordstrom counter. First thought was it smells like an expensive Lush. You know when you walk into Lush and you just smell all the smells and it just smells so good. It smells like that an expensive lush. This is the Sicily Isa La Nuit. I don't know. We know I don't know how to say shit. Beautiful, beautiful perfume. It smells delicious. I could eat this. It smells so good. It's not like sweet. Hold on. Let me look it up. And she said this was a nighttime scent. This has like, this has five stars on Nordstrom. I'm not surprised. Notes for the top. Black currant, mandarin, cardamom. Middle. Denoro... Doranano Rose, Freesia, Magnolia, Base, Ambro, Patchouli, Vanilla. You know, hopefully I said all those correctly, but oh my goodness. Oh, I agree with this person. Although this version is called The Night, I find it to be a beautiful, warm weather daytime fragrance. Yes, that is the kind of person I know we would get along perfectly. We would get along so well. This is such a beautiful, beautiful perfume. Like, I... I cannot say enough the good things about it. Like this is one of those perfumes I feel like I cannot have enough of. I want to bathe in this scent. It smells incredible. Another thing too, so this is not in my favorites video, but last night I was exploring, doing what I do, and like trying to see what's new. A lot of that rhymed, you know? Saw that Lalabo came out with a Santal 33 hair mist. I purchased it immediately. I really love Santal 33. I think it's like a classic staple scent, but to have it in a hair mist, I was intrigued. I have some other beauty products coming from Nordstrom that I'm gonna try out for you guys and we'll kind of recap them. Let's dive into two different face base products that I have just been in love with. So this right here is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Natural Matte. It's a beautiful foundation. It's gonna cover up your redness, cover up whatever you got going on. It's gonna provide sun protection. It's SPF 40, right? Yeah. SPF 40, color correcting, pore refining, full coverage cream. This is just beautiful. It's not too matte. If I'm not mistaken, they reformulated or have a new, it's just a new formula in general. But I have tried the matte one before and it was good but it's just a little too matte and I feel like this one is perfect I feel like it's like a if I could describe it in one way I feel like it's a flexible matte if that makes sense like it's not drying whatsoever you still have like a hint of glow in your skin it's not cakey and I've just been really enjoying this so I lost the cap of this per usual but 
I love the packaging of these cosmetic CC creams and the coverage of this is great. Another foundation that is just incredible is the Urban Decay Face Bond. This is one thing I got from the Sephora sale. I think this is the only foundation I got. But I did not have high expectations for this whatsoever. And it is so freaking good. Now it says medium to buildable coverage, which I was kind of like, you know, I don't know, medium coverage, not a big fan, but uh, let's give it a go. You know, let's just see. And man, it's beautiful. I did a full Instagram reel, TikTok. I'll do like a little pan over here so you could see it in action. It covers my rosacea beautifully. It's a lightweight formula. I'm still trying out the transfer proof self setting situation because lately as I've used it, I've done my entire makeup routine just because that's what I do. I like to have the glam on. I like to have powder and bronzer and blush and all the things, but supposedly this is self-setting. You're not supposed to have to set it with a powder, and that's next on my list. I actually might try that tomorrow and put it on one of the shorts or whatever. Now, let's talk about the highlighters that I've tried from fellow YouTubers, influencers. These are incredible, and you've got to try them out. First is the Lunar Beauty Moon Shroom Highlighter Palette. I just have a very hard time saying that. You have four different colors in here. These are so blinding and beautiful. And both of these that I'm about to mention to you are great if you have texture. They don't accentuate your texture on your skin in a really negative way. Like you feel like both of these melt into the skin beautifully. Now with the Lunar Beauty one, you're getting four different shades, which I like. I kind of just mix and match. This one I never really use. I don't love a pink tone highlighter, but like I've used this on my body. I mix these all the time. Like these two will be the ones I use for sure the most. And I love that this palette has a mirror. So the other one that I love is the one size, the Wicked Highlighter. This is beautiful, you guys. So that's what it looks like. I feel like it's the perfect highlight for me. It's the tone that I like. Again, it's not going to accentuate your texture or anything. It's just the most gorgeous, glowy highlight. And if you've seen my reels on Instagram lately, these are the two highlighters I've been using for a couple weeks now and they're just insane so let me they're not glittery they're just the most beautiful sheen like they just look so gorgeous on the skin and catch the light so well so if you're looking for one single highlighter that you know you're gonna use all the time I would say go with this one from one size if you're looking for one you can mix and match and just kind of play with have fun have had the same great texture but maybe use them as eyeshadows and stuff like that get the Lunar Beauty one. They're both incredible. I love them so much. I, it's, I literally can't pick a favorite because they're both so good. I love a poppy pink blush. These two blushes are newer purchases for me and I've been using them constantly. It has been so hard to put these two down. You guys know how I feel about Danessa Myrick's blushes. Chef's kiss. Always does a great job. Came out with a new uh, shade. This one's in the shade It Girl. She's a gorgeous, bright, poppy pink. This is perfect for summer. This Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Glow Blush in 52. The perfect addition. Like setting that cream blush with this powder blush is just a bangin' combo. They're setting. I always set my cream blushes. I usually, I like, I don't have to, especially with the Danessa Myricks ones. I could just go in with the translucent powder call it a day, but to just have the color longevity and just make sure it lasts throughout the day. I love a good powder blush on top. And these two match made in heaven. The last thing I'm gonna mention is one of my very last things I use in my skincare routine. And I used to never be a lip balm girl, but I just have recently and I've been really enjoying it. Like I don't really do it too much throughout the day, but every single night I have been using this Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I think, oh, this is their birthday cake. I think this one was limited edition. Any of them will do, they're all the same thing. But my lips are so moisturized and I do not break out around my mouth. I feel like that's a really big thing to note because a lot of the time I would put like these heavier lip products on my lips at night and like in hopes that, you know, I would have the softest lips in the morning. And then before you know it, it's like when you're rolling around, you sleep on your stomach. <laughs> that's me. Have it all over and then you start breaking out and it's just a mess. This does not do that. But I truly am a Summer Friday stan. Like I've tried so many things from them that are everyday use products for me. Okay, now that we've gotten the favorites out of the way, let's get into products I've used up and I also have a product I didn't like. I see one that I don't like. First up, Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. Obsessed. I actually just washed my brushes last night too. I have the really giant bottle. If you get this, get the big bottle. Don't even bother with these. Other than these are great for travels. You don't have to rinse them off. You just pour it into like a little bowl or whatever. Dip your brush in there. Swirl it around. Gets everything out. It's amazing. I have the Kiss Impress Lashes. There's so many different styles that I love. I usually go with Voluminous. I I'm obsessed with them. I talked about it before. Another one that you guys have seen, the Drunk Elephant Sweet Pity Deodorant Cream. This is one of my favorites. I have a few deodorants that I really love. Oh, I should have brought it up in this video, but I tried those Salt and Stone deodorants. 
not a big fan. They don't help with the BO. Unfortunately, those are not a hit. I actually haven't really even been using them anymore just because they don't give me what I need. This is really great. I also love the Lumi deodorants. I love the Donna Karen one, which obviously is not like aluminum free. I mean, the salt and stone ones, I did not love. So just a little PSA. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Conditioning Mask. You already know I bought the value size actually during the Sephora sale because you can't get enough of this product. It's just so good. I also used up this new Divi shampoo. So this is their new volumizing shampoo for fine thin hair. This is really great. If you found that the previous shampoo was a little too heavy for your hair, definitely give this one a try. For me, I can use both. I don't have an issue with either or, but this one definitely is more lightweight and it's gonna give you a little bit more volume. And if you, if you just have a problem with products weighing your hair down, this is definitely the one to go with. It's really nice. I also used up a Bioderma Micellar Water Makeup Remover. Now, I didn't use this to remove my makeup. If anything, I just used it for like after I cleanse, if I need to grow my hairline and stuff. That's what I use this for. I really liked it. It was really nice and gentle. Would I repurchase it again? Maybe? I don't know. I'm just... I, like, I don't take off all my makeup with this kind of stuff, so I just use a cleansing balm to take it all off and then clean up with something like this or a Neutrogena makeup wipe. It's not bad whatsoever. If you want to use it to remove your makeup, it might be really nice. Ah, I did put it in here. <laughs> I put them both in here. I swear, I did not even look down to see these. The Salt and Stone um, deodorants. I have another Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Love her. Bought the value size when Sephora had their sale. I also bought two of these. So I had to go in store and get this product because it was sold out online and I was like, okay, what's happening here? It's my favorite body cream at the moment, but it's the Hydrate and Glow Dream Body Butter from Youth to the People. It smells so good. The way this moisturizes your skin is just unlike any other. Your skin will be nice and moisturized till the next day. Like it is just so good. Your skin is so glowy when you use it. There's just something about it. If I don't moisturize my skin. It'll be so itchy and just drive me up the wall. And this truly just moisturizes the crap out of my skin. Like it is one of the best I've ever tried. A jumbo. Cinema Seekers brush cleaner. I used up a Revlon Photo Ready Candid Powder. So good. I've talked about this so many times. It's a great drugstore alternative if you love like Too Faced Peach Perfect, things like that. If you want a really nice smooth blurring powder, this is the one to go to. Let me get to what I didn't like in a second. But this from Kiss. So these are the smaller Airy Wispy Impressed Lashes. I love this style so much. I think it is so beautiful. I just hate that there's not more in the package because I go through them so fast, but I love it. I love the Impress line. Like all of their Impress lashes, they're just so easy to use. And if you're not wearing a ton of eyeshadow, I feel like they look really great. And I know I was telling you guys about Summer Fridays. So here are two products that I've used up from them. So this is their Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. This was an incredible daytime moisturizer. I can't say enough good things about it. I didn't break out with any of their products. I never break out. My skin's never irritated or burning. My eyes aren't burning. Um, this also is their Summer Friday Super Amino Gel. I feel like this really cleansed the skin. Didn't strip it, but it really worked well with my oily skin. I feel like when some people see gel, you think like drying, stripped, whatever. Not with this one. I feel like it made my skin super cleansed, but also have like a little bit of a glow to it. And since this is an oil-free gel cream, this again moisturized really, really well. It just wasn't very heavy for the day, which was perfect for underneath makeup and just like everyday use. Another one bats the dust. Urban Decay Brow Blade. I'm sorry. It's going to be a long time before I use up some other, um, eyebrow product. And then for the product I did not like this Bondi Boost Thermal Brush, you guys, this is the second thermal brush I've tried. It could be user error, but the way this pulls out my hair, I just don't like a thermal brush. I don't know. I can't do it. I'll just stick to like my Dyson round brush or something because this pulls my hair so bad. Maybe if you have shorter hair, it'll work really well, but it, it doesn't work for me. That concludes our favorites, empties, all of that video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping in. Next video is going to be trying out lots of new makeup. We've got, there's probably gonna be a few of those videos if you're okay with that, I hope so, because they're coming. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.